In this episode, we'll enter into the future of web programming and make an HTML5 video player that works on any browser. Known by the media as the Flash Killer, HTML5 is an emerging markup language used to code websites. If you're not familiar with what HTML5 is, then click on this video to get filled in so that you're not completely lost. What makes it so special? Well, it's got a lot of new features that make creating a high quality website much easier. When dealing with an HTML5 video player, the first thing that you need to know is that not every browser supports it. So before we start playing around with it, make sure that you have one of these compatible browsers. Notice that the current version of Internet Explorer still does not support the HTML5 video feature. The second thing that you need to know is that your video has to be encoded into a certain format before it can work. If you don't know what video encoding means, click on this video before continuing. HTML5 supports three formats, AUG, MP4, and WebM, and each browser also supports different formats. So what you can do is use a free program such as Miro Video Converter to convert it to any of those formats. Drag your video into the program and select Theora, which is AUG, MP4, or WebM from the drop-down menu. Then click Convert. The converted video will appear in the same folder. To cover all the bases, go ahead and make a video for each of the three different formats. With the videos ready to go, now we can start coding in HTML5. You can use any text editor, but I'm going to be using Notepad++. Let's start with the generic code for a website, the HTML, the header, and the body. If you want, you can give it a title and use some CSS style tags to tell what background and font color to make your web page. Then go ahead and save this as video.html and put it in the folder that also has your videos in it. Now we can add the code to play the video. Alright, here we go. Type video src equals and then the name of your video slash video and that's it. That's all there is. It's easy as pie, especially compared to the old way to embed videos. Now you can test it out by saving it and then opening up video.html in an HTML5 supported web browser to see it. You should see the first frame of the video, but there's no way to play it. So let's go back and add some controls. Just type controls equals controls. Then if you save it and refresh your web page, you should be able to click play. Now if you want to be able to control it from your keyboard, just add tab index equals zero to the code. Refresh your web page and you can use the space bar to play and pause the video. If you want to set your own custom image for the video, you can do this by adding poster to the code and setting it equal to the name of the image file that you want to use as the video thumbnail. If you want to autoplay the video, you can add the autoplay equals autoplay code. Then you can also add the loop equals loop code to let the video loop when it's done. So it's kind of the basics of creating a video player. But what if you want to share it with others? Well, just upload the HTML, the videos, and any thumbnail images to a web server and then give out the address. But we have to account for the fact that not every browser will play this video. Some don't like HTML5 and others don't like the AUG format. Here's how to make it playable in almost any browser. First, we need to add the other two video formats so that they can play if the browser doesn't like the first one. To do this, let's move the source attribute to a separate line. Then copy it and paste it twice and add the other two video formats that we created. This way, if the browser doesn't like the first one, it can play the next one. Finally, if the browser doesn't support HTML5, we'll need to add a Flash video player in its place. So just upload your video to YouTube or any other hosting provider and copy the embed code and paste it below the other sources. Now you can test your video out on different browsers to see how it works. If you have any problems, be sure to let me know in the comments below because next week we're going to be taking this a step further. So you want to be prepared for that. All right, be sure to check out Tinkernut on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.